everybody, welcome back to EA Sports. The building is buzzing. James Sabalski here on the mic. I'm ready to go. You've been waiting for this all day. I've been waiting for this. Cheryl's been waiting for it. Oh! oh. Montreal's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Angles it over to Malardi. And it's a quick pass to Shifley. Montreal's looking to break out. And he slides it quickly to McClanahan. Tries to the crease. Decides to think about it. And that's deflected. Bell's working it around in the corner. The Jets have it now. Loses the coverage there. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. Slides it diagonally to Kearns. Here's a shot. Fantastic save. Hellebuck's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. Puck is dropped. Quick shot. Quarrel scoops it up from the back of the cage. Slides it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck clears the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Hunter. Takes the shot. What a close save by Hillebuck. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Puck is dropped for back in a quick shot. Made the save on the play. Now, this is a tough one to take. He is such a huge part of this team. You know that at a critical juncture of the game. Oh, Watching that one again, James. I mean, he's so dialed in in his crease. You think this is all but in, and then he comes out of nowhere to make that spectacular save. He team who buries at home. I mean, he has got ice in his veins, and he knows the timing. When his team needs something, they look to him, and he answers. Dumped into the opposite corner. And now he moves it quickly to Corrins. Oh, he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. The Jets grab possession to the puck. Quick pass to Appleton. And a great save. Oh, they do it again. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Hunter's been so dangerous tonight, James. He scored the go-ahead goal, and he's got the puck on his stick now. Past the midway mark in this period. Montreal's ahead, 1-0. Play is back underway here. Here's a blast. Picked up along the wall by Caulfield. Puck grabbed by Pionk. Moves it to Iafalo. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Here's a shot. And it goes out of the air and it stays out. Montreal's continuing to push the pace of play in this game. They've been aggressive in the offensive zone. They do have the lead, but they wanted the extra cushion there, but unfortunately went off the post and out. And he sidesteps the check. He's got a step.
Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice. Two more periods to go, and we're about to play the second frame here. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Slides the puck over. Quick feed to Velarde. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Through center. Now a quick pass to Quarles. Puck scooped up by DeMello. Grabbed along the boards by Shifley. Fires it! Montembeau's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head in focus in the game. Lots of time left in this period. Montreal's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Second period's underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Montreal's got to find a way to push and continue to press like they did in the first 20 minutes, James. I mean, that was impressive. They executed on their possession and found ways to attack the net. They've got a two-goal lead, but sometimes it's tough to replicate a first period when you're firing on all cylinders. Answered the call on that play. Taken along the wall by Connor. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends it quickly to McClanahan. And that's a smart heads-up play by Filardi. And it's a quick pass to DeMello. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Quick feed to Kearns. Fires it on net. Big time glove save. Montreal's been rewarded for their high activity in the offensive zone with lots of shots, and they lead it here in the second. Now, leadership comes in different ways, and typically he scores on these opportunities and he elevates his entire team. Well, the goaltender shut the door and didn't allow it to happen. Sends it over to Street. Breakaway! Makes the save! Oh, and this is... Oh, wow, what an incredible save! I don't even know how he got to that. That's fierce athleticism to be able to get back to the net and make that save, James. That was amazing! I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level. When you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game, you know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. And he easily stops that one. Makes the save again! Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. The Canadians get play from the defensive zone. Clutch there. Well, he really did. At any time that you're one on one, you gotta beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Past the midway mark of the frame, Montreal's got some breathing room as they lead it 2 0. Denied by Hellebuck. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Sandberg's got it in the defensive end. Montreal's regained possession of the puck. feeling good about their game tonight. I mean, they've just moved the puck around so effectively. Yeah, they've gotten in the offensive zone because of their speed through the neutral zone. They've gotten good entries, and then their puck possession in the offensive zone. I mean, it's been so difficult to take it away. It's been a strain on their stick. They've been evasive, they've been elusive, and they've driven the net when they should have. And we're still only in period number two. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Moves it to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. Here's a short pass to Nemestikov. Handles the pass. Oh, look at this. Pokes it away in his own end. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Subban. Huge steal in his own end. Montreal's got it now. Blocked in traffic. Moves it to Kearns. Hooked away as he went. The Canadians have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stages of this second period as they continue to lead big. Quick shot off the drop. And the goaltender makes 
an easy glove save. Here's a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Takes it to the front. Oh, stop the run. Save on the big stop. Just as time expires in the period. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. If your home team scores in the next two minutes, you can get a free hamburger courtesy of our arena. Welcome back, everyone. They say three is the magic number. And here we are with period number three. Puck picked up by Morrissey. Puts it on net. No room for that one to get through. Here's a chance on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Hellebuck's going to hang on for a whistle. The Canadians have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. Puck is dropped. Quick shot. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. We're still in the early stages of this period. Montreal's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. Puck is dropped, we're back under a quick shot! Great reflex on display tonight on his part. The Canadians take possession in the neutral zone. And that's broken up. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. Now oh, you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Tries to get the puck to Velarde. Picked up along the boards by McClanahan. And that's turned aside with a glove. share it. Quarles carries the puck in his own zone. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. And he's got that one. Denies him again. And they'll get... Oh, here we go. I don't care how long you've been playing the game, James. You know right from tight that you're not shooting that puck after the whistle. That was calculated. And the exclamation mark thrown there. Yeah, the 
this fight is over with that decisive last punch, James. You can see that they're still out of breath after that duo, that back and forth action, and they'll just sit for five minutes, get some much needed rest. This fighting, it can be exhausting. I think they found the tooth that was lost, and both teams now back inside the faceoff circle. Taken by Pion. Oh, and he cracks it perfectly, now runs it in. And a great read to turn that play aside. Montreal's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead a big time late in this third period. Play is back underway here. Here's the block. Takes the puck. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. And he's able to handle that one. Kakanen's been off his game tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes. And he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the puck, I mean, the forwards have to contribute offensively, and they can he's only do stop. that. Street. Into the corner now. And a punch check knocks the puck away. Oh, and some smooth skating to lose the defender there. Takes a shot. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Stopped by the goaltender. Thank you for providing energy throughout 